All right, I wanted to do another video on these local church Bible publishers signature series Bibles that I recently got. And I uh, had not had an opportunity to check out the signature series as of yet, and I was really excited to get these. And as you can see, these are the, I got both of them in the burgundy, which I have to say, I like the color. It really kind of pops, in my opinion. A little different than the black, of course, but uh, I figured everybody knows what black looks like, so why not try something different, you know? So, uh, I'll start with the one on the top. This is the Cambridge Cameo, or the 120. And uh, the covers, I was really impressed with the thickness of. Um, a lot thicker than what I'm used to with local church, and still flexible but not floppy so as you can see it kind of maintains that crease until you smooth it back out but um, very nicely done the uh, spine bands have the raised hubs on the back there and I'm glad to see that is back and prominent um, as you may or may not know they they tend to change vendors from time to time for their leather to save money for the ministry I'm sure and uh, Sometimes they tend to be not as prominent, and usually on their executive series is where they're the most prominent, but this uh, signature series is quite nice. Stitching is still good. It looks uh, real nice. The uh, corners here look pretty pretty nice too. Like They paid some uh, good attention to detail doing those. And the internal the lining seems to be leather also. A little thicker but at the same time it's still flexible so and you don't really know what kind of leather it is until you open up the back here and it's got top grain cowhide so there's that and I think my copy was on the bottom or something because I got a little crease running down it where it was obviously something heavy was sitting on top of it and it pressed down against the edge of a shelf or something so, but I never, when I, when I order from them, I never ask for anything off the top or anything specific. I just figure I'll be like everybody else and get what I get and see what happens, you know, so. Because, uh, sometimes their quality control isn't the best, as anybody who's bought from them knows. But, uh, generally pretty good for the money you're paying. I mean, it's pretty good. And I'll get into that in a little bit. This one has the uh, four, three, three pages. No, it's four. Four blank pages of the thick paper there. And this one's manufactured in February of this year, so it's practically brand new, and that's cool. And let's open up the text here. As you can see, the wide margin really stands out on this particular edition. This is going to be a little bit bigger than, say, well, there's the wind, than the um, 110, which I have touted in the past. I really like that one. So that, that margin is going to be a little larger than that one, but the same exact text block, of course, as the 110. Um... I like the fact that they appear to have art gilding on the page edges. Uh, they have a tinge of red to them, and it looks it gives the Bible a more regal look, in my opinion. I really like that. So that's uh, another change. And as far as size, it's still the same font size, of course, as the one as the one fifteen which is just the text block with no margin. So that kind of gives you an idea of the size difference. It's not a large Bible, but it's definitely a medium-sized Bible. And I prefer to have a little bit smaller. That's why I like the 110 so much. And I wish they would bring that back in the designer series or make a signature series 110. That would make me happy. But You know, if, if they don't, I'll probably end up keeping this one and it'll be the re replacement Bible for the uh, the 110 one yeah the 110 there so 
overall pleased with the uh, the layout. Um, I really like the art gilding. It's not it's not bright red. It doesn't pop off the page, but it's definitely there. They definitely did something to color it, and um, you got the two ribbons, and they're the same color burgundy as the uh, cover. So pretty nice looking Bible all all together. Uh, very minor gripes with it. There's a couple of things I noticed um, on the spine band there. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like the uh, something scraped it, and it's uh, starting to come off a little bit up under there. But psh, whatever, it's not too bad. And my second one, which is also in the burgundy, second signature series Bible, is the uh, the large print 215. And this one, the spine bands aren't as prominent as in the 120, but they're still quite good. And this one doesn't have any noticeable flaws that I can see on the spine, so that's a really nice looking Bible. And it's just the standard text. There is the title page, and this one is a December of 2014, so it's fairly new as well. You got your family history stuff there. And the translator to the reader, of course. And there's your large print. So it's a 12 point large print. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that size. I mean, you can read that really well. And uh, it's on the larger size of their, their uh, catalog. And like the other one, it also has the art gilding, the red edges on the page. And that just really makes the Bible look really sharp to me. It just has a real professional look to it. So I'm really pleased with the overall design and uh, layout of the Signature Series. Um, <clears throat> it... They are $57. Both of these Bibles were $57. And of course the shipping is $16 or $17 now. So even if you only buy one Bible, you're still paying $17 in shipping. So you got to factor that in. Of course I bought both of these together. And the shipping was still the same price. So, And in addition to these, <clears throat> I also picked up this... Um, New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs and this is the one the surprise of the bunch I haven't been able to put this thing down I love it you know it's um, I don't know what kind of leather it is it doesn't say but it reminds me of the lambskin that uh, they used on the 400th anniversary edition and it's a little crinkled there because I've really been rough on it I've been trying to loosen it up and because uh, I figured I'll be carrying it in my back pocket or something, you know, going out witnessing or whatever. And so this would be, and as you can see, they haven't diminished all features on this thing at all. It's still the same quality, stitched around the edge there, you know, and uh, leather lined on the inside. And it's a real basic Bible. It doesn't have a lot of, you know, extras in it. There's a couple of blank pages in the front. And this is the um, 135 November of 2014. And there's your title page there. And after that title page, it goes straight into the text. So there's you know, the text for Matthew. And I would say that's a good eight and a half, nine point um, text block right there. Let me get my penny over here on this. is so it's pretty nice I'm real happy with it and at the end of Revelation of course you got the Psalms and the Proverbs and there's a really nice little page there for that it says bearing precious seed just a real nice little handy size so I was real, real impressed with that. And that's $22. It comes with one ribbon. 
So if you're interested in getting their New Testament, there it is. I've, I've always looked at them and never bought one, so that was my first one. And I gotta say, I'm kind of kind of pleased with it. So that's my review of the Burgundy Signature Series 120 and the Large Print 215. If you have any questions or comments, feel free. And, you know, of course, subscribe or like. I hope this has been helpful. God bless. Maranatha.